Hey, Glennis. How are you? You were ready to share with our friends about our latest uh, neighborhood tour? We're going to tell them about Lake Quivira. She loves swimming at Lake Quivira. I'm Mara Coleman with Reese Nichols. I love Kansas City and I love Kansas City neighborhoods. We're gonna take you through a new neighborhood tour today. Are you ready, Glennis? She thought maybe I had another treat. I think she's ready. Let's take you through Lake Quivira today. So Lake Quivira was started in 1928 to 1930 with the first homes being built and the clubhouse and the golf course was built in 1930. By the 1950s, Lake Quivira had evolved into a residential community and the golf course was reserved for members only. In 1966, Quivira became a gated private community. And then on July 12th in 1971, by unanimous vote, the Johnson County Board of County Commissioners approved the incorporation of Lake Quivira as its own city. So Lake Quivira is its own city. And I'll tell you a little story about our recent walk in Lake Quivira. They have their own police department, which is interesting. And the Lake Quivira policeman, which is like this cute little community. And he's pulled over in his police car, got out, introduced himself to Glennis and us. And we had a nice chat about Great Danes. He has one too. Glennis loved him. She licked him. She tried to jump on him. And a good time was had by all with the Lake Quivira police. Currently, Lake Quivira has 394 households and is a thriving community. Non-residents can enjoy all the amenities with a membership to Lake Quivira Country Club. The community offers all the things the lake lifestyle would expect in this spring-fed lake. Lots of boating, it has a beach, a community center, of course the country club and golf, um, fishing, lots of hiking trails, which I think would probably be gorgeous this time of year. Um, tennis, they have pickleball, and a saddle club. There's horses, a stable. The homes here are of just a wide range of architectural styles. What I think is so cool is you have typical lake looking homes, you have traditional homes, you have modern homes, you have mansions, and you have very modest homes. I had a hard time figuring out the range and the median um, price for these homes for you because they tip they kind of start around 400 and i found one for 10 million so that kind of messes up the average <laughs> but i would guess average is in the five five fifty six hundred range this is a family uh centered community 42 percent of these people that live here have kids in the house which i thought was kind of impressive for a young community Lake Quivira is kind of um, straddled in between Johnson and Wyandotte counties. So the kids that are live on the Wyandotte County side go to Turner schools. Johnson County are in Shawnee Mission School District with Ray Marsh Elementary, Trail Ridge Middle and Shawnee Mission Northwest High School. So that's Lake Quivira. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tour. It's a beautiful community. So much to do here. It's quite close to Kansas City, probably, although some of my friends who live here say it's about 30 minutes to anywhere, which I think is fairly accurate because I've traveled from different places in Kansas City and it does kind of seem like it takes about 30 minutes to get to or out of Lake Quivira. It's very cool. Let me know if you're interested in finding a home here. They don't go up too often. There's a few right now, but I can keep an eye out for you. Thanks for watching.